Digital host Phil Panarski joins us now with a look at what's trending online today. And Phil, Saturday marked a historic moment in college football, and apparently that has something to do with this first story? Absolutely, Rick and Emily. The Michigan Wolverines actually became the first college football team to hit the 1,000 win mark after defeating Maryland on Saturday. It only took the team 144 years to cross that mark, which includes some pretty incredible victories. But there's an early win that really set the stage for what the Wolverines would soon become. Digital reporter Matt Jarowski took us back to 1892, win number 34. And you can find out what happened in that one right now over on our website. And the United States Postal Service has announced that it will be changing some of its prices for shipping. Most of the options are increasing by more than 5%, according to USPS. That, the good news is, though, that these changes won't take effect until after the holiday season, so you still have plenty of time to get your shopping done. WoodTV.com has more for you to check out right now. And speaking of holiday shopping, scammers are going to be out there trying to trick you in so many different ways. Thankfully, though, we have a full list of things to look out for during your shopping and also how you can report any scams that you do see. That's all over on our website, woodtv.com. And Rick and Emily, there are just so many different scams these days. It can be a little overwhelming to think about sometimes, just the different ways they can get you. So it's really good to go ahead and start thinking about them and kind of getting ahead of that.